Hey there, cats and kittens. Welcome. My name is Londa Carter and I am the Recovering Hunbot. I create anti-MLM videos and I am dipping my toes into true crime. So if any of that sounds good to you, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button. And you know, I did try to do my hair, but there's this, it's just doing this weird, it's just doing weirdness, you know? Oh, well. So today I wanted to share with you some information about Mary Kay that slipped into my bubble. One thing you can count on when it comes to multi-level marketing is that you'll be disappointed. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on in the world of Mary Kay. Oh, before we get started, I want to say thank you so much to a subscriber who brought this to my attention because, you know, the thing is, I can't be all over the internet at one time or, you know, even throughout the day because I do that work thing, you know, the nine to five, whatever. I mean, it's not actually nine to five, but you know what I mean? I'm, I'm working, even though I work from home, hashtag not MLM. But I mean, I just, I, I don't have time to be running around all over the place, looking at every single MLM, everything, especially with like all the research that I do and what I dive into. It's like, you know, I spend a lot of time, whether it's true crime or multi-level marketing, I'm spending time digging around. Now, fortunately, when I do my interviews, you know, it's, that comes just like kind of a natural flow of a conversation. And right now, I mean, it, really okay i stepped into the true crime world because everything that's going on in the world feels emotionally heavy to me and i think a lot of it's because you know i'm a former hunbot myself and so looking and seeing what people are doing it just it kind of tears me up and i really think wow that could have been me you know i i really i just it makes me just go, what, what, Alanda, what would you have been doing if you, you still believed all this crap? So I've tried to like kind of protect myself from that. And that's one reason why, you know, I just, I just started doing some of the true crime because I've always enjoyed that. And I've, I've gone down in some weird rabbit holes just because I, I find stuff. And I'm like, why are people thinking this? I just want to know stuff. Also, I want to give a big thank you to my latest patron. Thank you so very much, Andrea McRae. You have no idea how much I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mary Kay has this preferred customer program, and I guess they've been doing it for a long time. And to be part of the preferred customer program, you get um, samples sent to you and the lookbook. So you can see like the latest products, the latest, you know, beauty, whatever, eyeshadows, whatever the Mary Kay products are. I'm, I've never bought Mary Kay. So, um, you know, it's just the makeup and stuff. Okay. So the lookbook, it's a physical book. So you can like, you know, pick it up, thumb through it, see what's going on. And, you know, it's presented to the Mary Kay consultants that this is a great way for you to be able to stay in touch with your customers, pick up the phone and give them a call and be like, oh, hey girl, did you see the latest lookbook? Well, what product stood out to you? You know, start that conversation so that they can make sales. You know, it has the consultant's name on it, address, this stuff, you know, so they don't forget who they're working with. And also, you know, like if they live in the same town and stuff, they can offer to drop by and, you know, show them new products, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. Well, my friend, uh, this year there's been a change. And there's no physical lookbook going out this summer, which also means the customers aren't getting samples either. But we are going to dive into this a little deeper and see what the Mary Kay consultants were told. So why does quarantine mean no mailing? In light of the current environment, we are creating a digital-only version of the look for the May product launch. So there will not be a printed version. Because of this, we are suspending the summer 2020 preferred customer program. Those who have already registered for the quarter will receive a refund to their account by April 17th for the total amount of their preferred customer program and or consultant first look orders. For balances, 
that are not used by midnight on April 30th, we will initiate a refund to the same method in which you receive your commissions no later than May 4th. For those who use direct deposit or already have a pay card, you can expect your refund in two to three business days. All others can expect their refund in seven to 10 business days. If you have not signed up for direct deposit, it's not too late. Click here for more details. Additionally, independent beauty consultants who have already signed up for the preferred customer program for the summer quarter, as well as those who participated in the spring quarter, will receive early order privileges for the summer 2020 quarter on May 10th. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause because we know you love providing sampling opportunities for your customers. Speaking of sampling, we know it is an important part of how many independent Salesforce members are working their Mary Kay business right now as overwhelming sales continued to far exceed our normal forecasts. Know that we're doing everything possible to help ensure you have the samples you need. As a reminder, the company's position on homemade samples has not changed. Specifically, company manufactured product samples are the preferred sampling option. If company manufactured product samples are not available, the best solution is to encourage your customers to purchase the full size product, reminding them of the company's 100% satisfaction guarantee. We know you're looking forward to the new quarter and we're excited about it too. In light of what current environment, you would think a mailing would be a very welcome thing these days when people are trapped at home. Is it a leap to think that Mary Kay is bleeding money? Now this was a comment from someone and I just like covered them up so they would be private. Okay, there's noise going on outside. Sorry, there's some big old truck that keeps making noise. It's called hashtag life. Anywho, I find it really interesting that there's this um, preferred sampling. You know, that really seems like a money grab to me. Call me crazy. Again, I've never been a Mary Kay consultant. If you have, let me know how much do you spend on getting samples to like give to people? Because, you know, back when I worked in the makeup industry, I mean, this was, it's been a minute, but guess what? Samples were given to us, you know? You go to the beauty counter and there were samples there. You could play in the makeup and all that. Now, granted, you couldn't take like a lipstick home or anything, but the thing is, I can remember doing this. If we ran out of, say, you know, a foundation, guess what? We could open up another box and kind of label it that, you know, what we needed it for and let the manager know and that kind of whatnot. I mean, it was no big deal. But Mary Kay most certainly is making sure that you don't do anything like that, that you need to buy their samples. At least that's what it sounds like to me. And that really feels like Mary Kay is pushing consultants to buy samples, but they're not going to help them out by giving them, you know, like not giving while well, sending out the physical lookbook. They're just going to rely on the digital one. And they say they have a record sales. Who's buying? Who is actually buying right now? I mean, myself. And I'm guessing probably you, all I'm thinking about and what most people are thinking about right now are the essentials. You know, like there's essential workers, there's essential purchases and uh, Mary Kay makeup or any other MLM product. It's that's not essential. People are not like, Oh, I just can't wait to buy me some Mary Kay. Now, granted, if you had a physical book and you're looking through it, I think that would probably um, encourage people to do a little bit more impulse buying than, you know, not having it. But I guess they're expecting people to just, you know, a ringy ding and say, hey, hey there, what do you think? Did you go online and look at XYZ? Hey, let me bring some samples that I bought. Okay, they're not going to say samples that I bought. But basically, they're going to then bring over stuff physically to those who are in the same town to show them stuff. To me, this really just sounds like all Mary Kay 
cares about is that consultants buy. So consultants buy the summer products and consultants buy the samples because let's face it, they are the customers. There's not a big run in the world for anyone outside of the Mary Kay bubble to buy Mary Kay products. There just isn't. Okay, in my opinion, once again, <laughs> a multi-level marketing company is playing dirty and playing dirty on their sales force because, you know, that's what the consultants are. They're the sales force and they're the customer. And I just really feel like they're just, you know, messing with them. And that just doesn't sit well with me. It just, like I said, it just seems really dirty. It really seems like all Mary Kay cares about is whether or not their, you know, pockets are lined. And it probably cost them to send out the physical, you know, lookbook, to send out the samples, to produce the samples, all that. Well, let's cut back on all of that so we don't cut into our profits. And we, you know, we certainly don't want to help anybody that could like actually maybe make one or two sales because, you know, we know they're not going to really do that anyway. So we'll just, you know, count on the consultants buying. That's just how it feels to me, you know? I mean, right now, the things that I need for one is like my wisdom tooth is really, really bugging me. But other than like going to the grocery store and, oh, gee, I mean, you know, there's very little that we're getting other than groceries, you know, that's, that's, pretty much it and just trying to pay the bills. And I really think that's what most people are doing in the world. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are struggling with even getting food, with paying their bills. You know, it's not an easy time right now, yet multi-level marketing companies, they sure are pushing their reps, you know, they're making them think like, oh, this is the time for everyone to join. And if you haven't seen my video about how being part of an MLM can impact your unemployment benefits, make sure you check that out. And hopefully I'll remember to like throw up a card, put a link, do something so you can see it. To me, it really feels like multi-level marketing companies, you know, those, I guess, at the C-level, all those corporate types, and probably the top huns too. It just, it really feels like they have no heart or soul. Maybe it's just me. I mean, what do you think? If we want there to be change, remember, it's up to us to speak out and get the word out, and change starts now.